Good evening, everybody. This is Ronique Vepner with Jimming at Home. Today, my assistant is Liz Marie Fisachi. She's going to be my personal motivator as well as my cameraman, and she'll also be the additional chuckle you hear on this video. Enjoy! This home gym video is proudly sponsored by Pick and Pay. <laughs> you know that, folks. This is the squat. What you're going to be working today is your upper thigh muscles. It's going to be a down and up. The next video will be for your biceps and your upper body strength. It's going to be straight legs and up and up. It's almost like a barbell row. Okay, there's more. And now, to work the arms, you know, almost like a bicep curl, you pick up the person in the crayon. <laughs> you pick up the person in the crayon. <laughs> the crayon. Can you work? Okay. Up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Until you feel your arms can't take it no more. And then you get the person out. You just know that to get out. <laughs> <laughs> you know to get out. <laughs> okay, I get no hip work. The next exercise is also for your upper body strength. It's going to be a pull up position from the ground upwards using a pole like thing, or it's also called a trampoline. So it's going to be, your body's going to be down, and then you're going to pull yourself up. Like Remember this. to not use your body, only use your arms. And now also, for some upper body exercises, you get under the trampoline, you put yourself in the pull up position. Arm straight, and be careful to only pull with your arms. One, two, Three, four, you know? And then in case you get really tired or you're just too lazy, you get yourself one of these to keep you from stopping. <laughs> Motivate me. Where are you going? Up. One, two, upper. Three, go. Four, go. move. Barbell curl. It's also just lift with your arms. It's working your biceps. Firstly, you need to make sure that the weight is equally dispensed on both sides. You don't want to injure yourself. <laughs> this is the homemade version of the bicep barbell curl. You get up. You make sure your elbows are against your side. One, two, slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. You don't want the bricks in the paper bag to start messing around because then you're going to be all wobbly and we don't want that. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, folks, and then you do as many sets as you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we're going to do some core exercises also for your, for your tummy. It's the, the abdominal area. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, folks. <laughs> Remember, in any kind of exercise, it's always very God. important to exercise your stomach, your core. It's very important for anything because you need it for balance and for walking it. Obviously, you don't want something like this, so you need to exercise it. What we do is we've got the normal sit-up, which is in that position, and you go up to your knees. That's a normal sit-up. But what's more effective to just work the muscles underneath all the six-pack fat is a crunch. You just go up and you tighten your core. You need to feel, if you put your hands on your stomach, 
You need to feel those muscles getting tighter. And one, two, three. So remember your core. Then what you can also do is you put your arms next to you. As your core gets stronger, you can spread your arms wider. And then you lift your hands and your legs. And you do a few. As you can see, I'm struggling very much because this is a very <laughs> hard exercise. You can feel your muscles. And remember, tighten the core. Okay, <laughs> folks, what you can also do is the start. You open your legs in a V. What you can also do is the A. Okay. Going to do boxing. Next, we're going to do boxing. Please ignore the strange people in my back. There's just some personal assistants helping with this video. Okay, <laughs> the boxing is going to be a bit of cardio. So just relax and follow the instructions. Okay, folks, oh, remember to ignore the background and don't fall off the steps if you have steps at your house. Remember, we are not professionals. We're only showing you what we think is best for you. <laughs> now, when boxing, you see, this is the boxing set. I don't know what it's called, but it's a sack, and you use it to box. Keep your weight on your both of your legs. Always remember your protective gloves, people. Remember, there. It's that position, like it. There, 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 there. But you must remember to control your breathing. And remember, don't focus on only one arm. You need to use both arms. Like that, and then you go to the and you're like, kill it, kill it, you kill the set. Because you want to use all that frustration inside, and you take it out of the set. Remember, folks, in a real boxing situation, and this I got off television, protect your face. You need to protect your face. So when you punch him with this hand, you protect your face with this hand. And you need to keep your core tight, 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 tight. So that when the box in the stomach, you don't feel it. Hey, folks, when you're busy with your exercise and you see there's a kitty cat in the grave off, you always attack it. <laughs> Remember, and now we're doing the deadlift. It's working your butt muscles. It's really person in our video. It's working the butt muscles as well as the lower back. This one is called, oh wait, I forgot the name. It's a deadlift. So, one hand facing forward, the other face back. This is the straight leg, straight leg deadlift. So you pick it up, and then that. And you bring your back in. But you use these muscles. You know your buttocks, and the muscle will be here, your hamstring. Okay. And up. And up. Remember to keep your legs straight. Pull with your, with your butt muscles. That's it. Your butt muscles. You heard me right, folks. Your butt muscles. Okay. We are going to do some upper body exercise. This is your upper body. I'm going to do some upper body Remember to keep your legs, arms width. And this is just very light just to show you the basics. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Um, the cleans okay. and jerks. You have to work your upper body, your arms, and your back, as well as a bit of legs. Okay. Now, we're going to do some cleans and jerks. And good. You get it to and then it's up. Okay, again, it's on the ground, knees bent, arms outside the knees, there. use your lift up to the chest, use your legs to push up, ooh, it's every that it looks folks, I promise you this, and you do about eight reps, and you do about at least, at least two sets, but as many as you feel comfortable with, okay folks, cleans also working the upper body and the back. This exercise is called the clean. It's almost like the clean and jerk, but without the jerk, obviously, because it's just the clean. Okay? 
You lift... <laughs> there. And then you lift your elbows. Do you see that? You lift your elbows. Again. There. And elbows. And... See? There. And lift your elbows. Okay. Um, remember, pick and pay. Reduce, recycle, and reuse.